Hello, my name is Peter Birkby and I'm here at Barnsley College to give an insight into percussion instruments for both the studio and live performance work. Now I'm going to look at a lot of wooden instruments and I'm going to start off with two sticks or as they now describe the claves. Um, this is an African clave and the, the, the concave part uh, has been taken out of the wood and it gives a, a deeper sound like this. Whereas the Cuban claves are just more straight pieces of wood and gives a more piercing sound. Wooden blocks, wooden instruments have been used a lot to create piercing sounds, mainly for effect rather than in the Cuban music, this sound goes on all the way through the music. But in the orchestra or in uh, for dances and things like that, then wooden blocks are used to imitate clogs or dancing, but also for quite a piercing sound, a piercing cutting through sound. And there are various different sizes you can see here, which give different pitches of sound. And also, there are now plastic, supposedly indestructible imitations. So we can then get different pitches and different timbres coming out. Another instrument in wood, which was developed uh, in the Far East, are these, um, which are called temple blocks or skulls. They may have been skulls at one point in the past. Um, and they are played with a softer mallet to give a more subtle timbre. Again, different sizes give different pitches. So from those three we get, and from three wood blocks we got, Other instruments that have been developed from wood are these, which are very much used in, a, in, of course, Spanish music, which are the castanets. I use castanets on sticks because it's just easier to pick up, play and put down and then move on rather than try and get the string around my fingers. Now, these castanets, lovely in the fact that they're instant sounding. So you can play like that or on your knee. And if you put the fingers just near to the top castanet, you, you create a sort of bounce which gives you more, a, a fuller roll. There are also machine castanets, as they've described, which are um, on a stand so you can put them on the tabletop. Other instrument um, sounds developed from wood would be things like the whip effect, uh, which is a sprung loaded two pieces of wood which come together to give that or that. This one is a little bit slower than the other. Then we were talking about seed pods in the past and here are two seed pods, it's a coconut, and you get horse's hooves effect. More effects um, use things like the football rattle. But in the orchestral world, it's called a ratchet, and used like that. Another variation on this would, well, it's the clacker stick. And finally, for this section, um, these have been called the night or the cricket sound or anything, and various different things like that. It's a mixture of wood 
and metal ball bearings to give. And that's it for the wooden sounds.